Hey, what's up, Derek Kirk of Effectatron, and you may notice I'm not in my office. We are outside today because we're going on a little adventure. This video is sponsored by the HP ZBook Ultra, powered by AMD Ryzen. We are going to put this little tiny laptop to the test. I did not know that this tiny of a laptop could be this strong. It's amazing, and I'm gonna show you guys why it's amazing, and we're gonna put it to the test. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to go to the park, we're gonna film a shot, we're gonna take it into C40 while we're still at the park, track it in the park, and render it out on the way home <laughs> because we can do that because it's a laptop. Then we're gonna dive into Unreal Engine 5 because that is where this laptop blew my mind, right? It, this, it's, and we're gonna go into it, but trust me, this thing needs to be on your radar, okay? Especially if you like travel a lot because this thing is beefy. All right, let's go. This is the HP ZBook Ultra, which also has 128 gigs of RAM in this tiny little machine. You can actually allocate it all the way up to 96 gigs of VRAM to 96 gigs of VRAM. That is the same as three 5090s worth of VRAM. Um, so I've edited this entire video in 4K on this system. This thing has surpassed every expectation. This is the AMD Ryzen AI Max Plus Pro 395 with Radeon 8060S. And basically what that means is it's a neural chip. And what that is, is that is a CPU and a GPU on the same chip. And so what that means is they don't have to bridge a gap to talk to one another, so they're even faster. This has actually been incredibly easy to review because every hurdle that I have thought I was gonna face, this thing just jumps right over it, no problem. All right, let's do some unboxing. Oh, this thing is light. I love the HP logo, by the way. That's so clean. The last time I worked with a laptop, they were like this thick, right? To like be as good um, at rendering and video editing and stuff. And this, we'll put it to the test. Whew, oh, these are my favorite chiclet keys. Cool. For this video, we're doing something we don't normally do in my videos. We're going outside. Oh God, it's bright. So what I did is I wanted to put this laptop under a really intense stress test from like, actual things that I actually do. So, and things that also benefit the fact that it's a laptop. So what I did was I took it out to the park. Let's take our laptop with us. There we go. There we go. We'll keep you nice and safe. The garbage truck came as soon as I was getting ready to record. That's what it's like to be a vlogger, huh? So the idea is we're gonna go out there, we're gonna film it, we're gonna instantly load it into C4D, we're gonna track it out there uh, quickly, and just to make sure it works, so make sure we don't need to shoot anything else before we head back, because we can do that. And uh, yeah, it should be cool. And I just think this little part of my drive is so pretty. It's like I'm like I'm in a car commercial or something. It's lovely here. I hate vlogging out in public. I don't mind being on camera and stuff in the right settings, but in public, I'm extremely anxious right now and very self-conscious, even though there's like nobody within 100 feet of me. But uh, yeah, okay, we're gonna try a park. And it's kind of iffy to do a park for tracking purposes, mainly because like trees and stuff like that. Like basically when you're tracking, you want as many static things as possible, like good contrast between roads, sharp corners of buildings, stuff like that. But I think honestly with C40, I think the grass, it's not a very windy day. This should be okay. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do when you're looking for tracking shots is you want to have parallax. So you want to definitely, you don't just want a big blank open space. You want something that has a foreground, something that has a background, because you want it to be able to see and perceive that motion. So like if I turn this around, you see I've got like a tree in the foreground, and a tree in the background, and then a tree line in the background as well. So we have good parallax right here. We're set up. Nice to sit out here on a park bench and do this work. Loaded that footage on. Took it into Premiere, exported it out as a JPEG sequence to take into C4D, which then I tracked there in the park and started rendering before I even left to go home. Look at it go. It's already cranking away. Oh my gosh. She yeah, has got two buckets because the CPU and the GPU are the same thing and it can go twice. There we go. Nice. All right, we'll let that go. I'm going to go pick up my groceries. That was really cool and it actually did amazing at that. And then on top of that, I wanted to stress test this thing with Unreal Engine 5, which is where it blew my mind because I thought Unreal Engine 5 like had to have RTX high-end graphics cards to be any good at all. And this little tiny laptop is a beast at not only loading Unreal Engine insanely fast, this laptop is going to impress you, okay? 
Open it up. Ready? PS Project. It's taking seconds. On my PC, it takes many minutes. Okay. Uh, that was insane how fast that was. And it also does an amazing job of actually just working at in real time renders in insanely intense giant scenes with 15,000 plus objects. I made sure that I use the Dream Environment Dreams project file that's free it's because everybody has access to it. So if you don't believe me that this little laptop is powerful, take that scene in Unreal Engine on your own machine and see how it works. And then you'll believe that this little piece, this little laptop is fantastic. So the HP ZBook Ultra G1A is insane. This laptop has blown my mind, not only with its processing power its speed, but just how good it is at doing all the things that I thought you need to be on a big old desktop to change into a desk that had took up a ton of space. This little laptop, like if you travel and you want to do 3D, this is it, man. This is where it's at. Um, like the fact that like you want to go out, get inspired, do something, or just work outside of an office, this thing is where it's at. Um, this, I was blown away. So HP, thank you so much for opening my eyes. Neural chips are insane. This little laptop is a beast and can literally do everything I needed to do. And that was a huge surprise to me. Um, so thank you, thank you again. And guys, if you want one, check it out. Link below. It's awesome.